Okay, so now we go to the seventh section, and it is related to the referee report. So, the referee, one of the duty is uh, to uh, write accurate and timely reports that goes to the technical committees, and uh, uh, these are provided with the useful information uh, on the rules and on the communication and uh, on the judges and on the competition. So it's a very important uh, document, as Alina said in the uh, previous presentation, that uh, arrived to the committees. The referee shall prepare a report on the standard form of the competition, and uh, there are something that you have to write on the report, and the report must be totally filled on this part. So it must be the name and the place of the event, the category, if men, ladies, pair and dance, senior, junior or novice. Or synchro. Or synchro, yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, the timing of, uh, to each part of the event. And uh, very important also the name of the officials, so the referee, technical controller, specialist, data replay, operator and all the judges who serve the event and in which part of the event. And also very important is uh, the member that um, the uh, officials are representing. The category of judges is also important. Uh, this uh, you have to ask to your judges or to go to the communication of the officials in which you find which are the categories that can be international judge, international referee, ISU judge or ISU referees. And uh, the panel of the free skating and the short program or rhythm dance is, uh, uh, could be different in some competition. In this case, you have to report the different panels. Uh, if it is the same, it's enough uh, that you fill the first page. Another important uh, thing is uh, uh, the presence of the judges at the initial judges meeting and the round table discussion. Please, in case uh, there is uh, somebody that is not participating to the initial judges meeting and to the roundtable discussion, hopefully if it's not the referee, it's, uh, uh, you have to report the reason why they are not participating, if you know the reason. Because in some cases, if a judge do not appear to the roundtable discussion and you have no any clue the reason and uh, uh, you have not any noticed about that, Anyway, you have to specify. It's very important because not participating to the initial judges meeting on the round table discussion can turn into assessment for the judges and we have to know the reason because if you have a, a, a real good reasons, maybe the technical committee can understand and uh, not apply any assessment. Another important uh, um, uh, information is related to the working knowledge of English. You have uh, different grades, yes, partly we can know, and please uh, try to be as uh, fair as possible to uh, make this evaluation. Um, it's uh, important because uh, uh, this evaluation is very different from sometimes from referee to referee, from the same person and should be the same in a way. So uh, please don't say yes for everybody if somebody is not speaking English uh, correctly. Uh, please understand that uh, uh, you have not to be a, 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 um, an American or an English to get yes. You can have uh, also people coming from other nations. The important is that uh, you understand what you are saying and that the people can reply to you properly. And so it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, this is really important because it's for the progressive career of the judges. Uh, we have to know that they are uh, they have at, uh, at least a quite good work, um, working knowledge of English. You have to also to put the name of the organizer and the standard of the organization. So excellent, good, acceptable, mediocre and poor. Please again give the right information because this helps the ISU generally to know how it will be uh, uh, organized the competition and uh, uh, for the future, yes. Maybe we do the questions a little bit later, yes, yes. Yeah and remarks on the organization. Also important is the number of participants which started and we finished the events and the reason if there is some withdrawal and the number of the ISU representing members. So when there is some withdrawal, please uh, uh, attach the document after we will see this and uh, give the reason why there was some withdrawal. There are boxes in the single and pair 
uh, report is summarized in one boxes, in ice density is divided, it's not important, I mean, but just related to the standard of skating in each element, it, uh, uh, because this gives the, uh, to the uh, technical committee the information of uh, the kind of events it is, because uh, clearly for the World Championship the standards will be quite good, probably excellent, but uh, in many international competition we have to understand the level of the international competition to understand also the quality of the judging. And again the standard of the judging in each uh, segment and also the decision taken by the referee uh, if there is some decision taken by the referee, some deduction, some uh, mm, uh, problems related to the competition, so please uh, insert this in the, um, in the report. Um, you have uh, these two meetings, the initial judges meeting and the roundtable discussion. Please make a summary of what you have done and of the ideas that comes out during the, these two um, um, meetings. And uh, uh, you have not to, to write too much about that, but just briefly say uh, if they are done, in which way, and what are the ideas coming out from that. And very, very important is uh, the next box that it is uh, special remarks from the respective technical committee because uh, from these remarks, as it was said already before, uh, comes out the ideas and the problems related to communication, to the rule book, to the requirements from the, the programs, to uh, something that it is not clear. So uh, uh, I have to say that uh, uh, all the report, as Alina said at the beginning of the presentation, is uh, they are very carefully read uh, by the technical committee. And uh, the suggestion that uh, you are, as a judge, but you as a referee has to report, uh, give to the to the technical committee are all studied and evaluated. That doesn't mean that are all take it and decided what you are, uh, are suggesting, but all that are the base of uh, all the discussion for the changes for the next season. So it's really, really an important point, and uh, uh, I like really to highlight you as a referee to write something. Sometimes there is no. I mean, the, not all the time you have to have some suggestion or some uh, remarks. But please, uh, as soon as you have something, it's very important for us uh, uh, that you are uh, writing this and uh, it is the base of our work. Must also the confirmation of the ISU guidelines uh, of the initial judges meeting and roundtable discussion. There is a guidelines. Now probably this will be part will be taken out that you have to confirm about this. But anyway, just have a look to the guidelines and to know how to uh, to make the initial judges meeting and the roundtable discussion. Uh, the following documents has to be included in the report. And this is the final results of the competition, so only the final results. You have not to put all the PDF. It's only the final results. So the technical committee can see uh, how, mm, how many competitors already, but the names of the competitors and uh, uh, the uh, two different results of the short and the free. And if there is uh, any kind of withdrawal due to medical reason, the uh, medical uh, the certificate that uh, it has been provided to you. So you have to make a copy and include this. You have also to include, uh, uh, not for the ISU events, but for the international competition, the calculation setup verification from, uh, for the international competition, and to be ensured that the, this uh, um, calculation setup is corresponding to the last version. And uh, again, from the organizing competition, has to, to provide the printout of the calculation program that uh, has, is being used, and to each referee uh, and each category before start the category, uh, the competition of the respective category has to be checked. And you can find this, uh, uh, the, the most updated uh, um, uh, results, uh, the, the setup verification and calculation is on this. Uh, uh, ISU website, so if you have it, uh, this uh, address is very easy to go, you put it in your computer and immediately you get out the, uh, uh, the last version. The report shall be sent uh, without delay within 14 days. 
it's important that you fulfill this uh, because uh, it's uh, uh, the time for the valuation and for the technical committee is very important to have it in the, uh, within 14 days. If for some reason you have uh, a problem and you have to send uh, a couple of days later, please advise the office and the ISU or the ISU uh, technical committee uh, uh, that there will be some delay. If there is be a delay and there is a reason for that is not a problem, it's a problem when you delay maybe uh, two months and, uh, uh, and without any reason and after uh, when we asking you why you have not uh, 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 sent the report, uh, the reason is, ah, I forgot. I forgot because I was tra uh, traveling and so, so that is not a reason. I mean, it uh, could be the reason, but it's not acceptable. <laughs> and, uh, and so in this case, you will get probably at least a letter. Another important thing uh, nowadays and never happened nearly anymore, but the report must be taped and done. So use the form that it is on the U ISU website and tape in your computer and send to in an electronic version to the ISU. So it's, uh, the report has to be done in this way. If the report is endly written, this is a, a problem. It's a problem because uh, it's uh, uh, very difficult to understand, takes a lot of time, and now it's a problem to to write uh, to read the uh, handwriting and uh, so uh, please follow this, uh, this uh, situation. And I can tell you that uh, even this season we got some reports which we are handwriting. And uh, even it is in the rules and even it is every time suggested and we got that. And I can tell you that one part was we just cannot understand anything what was written there. Yeah, we had also a couple of reports in single and pair that was handwritten, and, uh, and we asked to resubmit the report in the electronic version. And uh, according to the uh, rule 420, the report are going to the following person, so the chair and each member of respective technical committees, and to the sport director of figure skating. So the report are uh, copied to these persons. And uh, the respective technical committee are rated the report that can be very good, good, acceptable, partly acceptable, mediocre, and poor. Um, if uh, um, it's, uh, you are in the first four, so very good, good, acceptable, and partly acceptable, it's fine. Even if partly acceptable is not the best, but anyway, it's fine. Uh, in case the report uh, is uh, mediocre or poor, you, this will be notified to you and uh, uh, that uh, your report was uh, rated like mediocre or poor. And uh, uh, in some cases, uh, they, uh, if the, the report are not only the first time, but uh, your usual report is uh, rated as mediocre or poor, you are asked to go to a referee seminar before you are appointed anymore, at least for the ISU events. So in, in this case, it's uh, not an assessment, but it is anyway a request in case your report is consistently not good. Okay, no, now uh, Alina will show you uh, the examples of uh, the report. We have choose uh, to do a ice dance report. Just to make a couple of uh, um, clarification, we have decided to do ice dance report because the ice dance report, like many others, points is more complicated. It's more complex. <laughs> more complex. So the single and pair are a little bit uh, sometimes shorter. And so we see the most uh, difficult and complex one. And for the, the single and pair judges, uh, something is summarized. OK. OK, okay so uh, we know what should be inserted, what should be written in the report. And we have chosen one report. We think as a technical committee, it was written very well. Of course, you cannot see uh, the correct names of the judges, referees, and the other technical panel, and even skaters. So we have uh, uh, just find uh, some signs or names uh, uh, which just replace. So when you see this report, everything is inserted. That's what Fabio said, uh, the competition, the place, uh, and uh, all details, the dates. Uh, then you have officials, uh, referee technical controller, and the, the others uh, who were on this uh, top box. And then you have uh, the panel of judges. If you watch, we are at the Junior World Championships. Uh, 
if you watch uh, this report, uh, do you think that uh, everything is correct here? What is not correct? Take your microphone and say. <laughs> Where is the microphone? Oh, Who? <laughs> well, uh, it says uh, Rhythm Dance March 4th and Free Dance March 9th, so that would be five days in between, should be at least one day. <laughs> What is not correct? What is really not correct here? Judge number eight. We are at the championships. You remember? Okay. Okay. Give. 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 There are several things. Yeah. So, so judge eight says international referee. You have to be ISU at a championship. I also have some concerns if the U.S. judge cannot speak. English, you know, and why they that what we what we, we got the report. Uh, we don't know. We don't uh, know. Maybe in that country, some judges are from uh, different countries and just represent uh, uh, the U.S. And maybe the uh, they speak just partly yet. Maybe in few years they improve English. But so far, the English was not so good. So the referee correctly. Uh, marked as partly. What uh, is strange that it is international referee for ISU championships. Probably the referee make a mistake. Probably the judge number eight is international referee and ISU judge. So, but it is not correct. Okay? And what uh, we got the information, what else? That the judge did not participate in the initial judges' meeting. And there was no explanation to the referee. We read later on. Uh, the referee um, just had jet lag and uh, just slipped over at the initial judges' meeting. This is not an explanation. So we consider that the judge did not participate uh, it at initial judges' meeting with no excuse. Okay. So, this part uh, for the free dance or free program uh, for singers, the judges for uh, championships, uh, usually they have different uh, seats, the number of judge. As in that case, you have to fill this box. In other international competition, if you have the same panel that what Fabio said, uh, you just leave it empty and you just make a remark that the same panel with the same uh, order of judges was for this part of the event as well. This is new in Ice Dance. I think it was already in uh, singles and pairs and uh, in synchro. Yes, uh, for Ice Dance from this season will be like that. Yes. At the championships, yes. At the champions, we write here ICU. At the international competition, I would suggest to write every member because uh, it gives us uh, the information whether we accept as international competition or not with the requirements to, for officials for international competition. You can also write for the technical panel ISU and uh, maybe uh, the, the, the country. I mean, it's, um, it's possible, but you can put also only ISU. Um, it's up to you. Yeah. Because at championships, uh, all officials are really checked and uh, there couldn't be uh, any question. But uh, for international competition, uh, the, it is important that, that the panel is constructed uh, with the certain requirements for international competition. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, as a, I'm, I'm, I'm making all these uh, the referee report summary, and I would like to um, have the information about the judges from the member which country, because at the championships, it's it's always the ISU there. No, no, but the, the judges has to be listed. Oh. Yeah, they are. They are. They have to be the from the ISU. I mean, at ISU. So then, then they're making the. I'm making the summary of the, uh, the judges. No, no, the referee report. And then I would like to have the information about that. Just for okay. information. 
The information, of course, everybody has to be ICU. As you see, uh, this uh, is not correctly filled. I'm sure that the judge was ICU. The information here for us is whether it's ICU judge or ICU referee. That's uh, the information. Uh, maybe we don't need it. But no, for, so far you have to fill it. Uh, yes? Yes, bias. yes, that's for in ice dance. I don't know in synchro. Do you have? In synchro, we have, but it's. Uh, Philippe, Philippe. 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 In synchro, we have uh, the same now that uh, ice dancer, but it's not yet published on the website. We are waiting that the end of the seminar to be published. Okay, uh, the part you see here, I don't know if it is seen when I am moving with my arrow, yes? So it means that if you were using guideline or not, uh, uh, we are thinking with Fabio that uh, this should be deleted because that's your responsibility to go through everything what is responsible at the initial judges meeting and round table discussion. So just uh, we, we think that these two lines should be deleted. Uh, and uh, everything what is here, uh, it was already explained, so we evaluate English uh, with yes, uh, partly and no, and uh, the documents, uh, I always, uh, uh, I'm coming back to this page because this is a reminder what documents you have to send and where, okay, to attach to uh, the reference report. Yes, Christian. That was my question from before. Here you have the three categories, yes, partly, no, and on Fabio's uh, slide yeah. there was a weak. No, 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 yes, uh, but now it is like that. It okay. In the past. Thank yeah. you. So, the, the, this, is, uh, an, this is what we have, yes, partly, and no. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, uh, this part is where you put all information about the, the organization of the uh, of uh, the event, and it is important that, that you write the, uh, the exact. You cannot evaluate, for example, excellent, and then you say uh, that the hotel was poor, uh, the buses uh, never went on time, uh, the ice quality was horrible, and you evaluate with excellent. So it must correspond your evaluation with that what you're writing down here. Uh, the next the next box is that uh, where we are uh, writing the number of skaters entered the number competing and uh, finishing if, if something we've uh, happened during the competition and any skater is withdrawn uh, we must put here the reason if there was a medical reason you must have a medical certificate i will show you how it looks like uh, the next part in singles and pairs, as Fabio said, this, this is combined standard of skating and standard of judging. This is one box. In ice dance, we have separate. Uh, we really would like to know what was the standard of skating, and we have separated. Uh, we in ice dance require, no, maybe not require, but for us, for the technical committee, it's nice to know what uh, kind of level was at the competition. So the, if you divide the, the couples in the groups, it gives us uh, uh, the general opinion of what level was from the uh, very good to very poor or was it in the middle. So it's, it's good for us to know. And um, uh, same for free dance, so that's uh, written dance and free dance, and then we have standard of judging and the standard of judging uh, you are also including any deduction what the referee has made. So these are two boxes where you have to, um, to include this. Okay. 
The next is uh, these interesting elements uh, for um, discussion, and we have two boxes. Uh, we have for discussion and for clarification. Sometimes during the season we are getting information uh, that um, in some cases uh, uh, we need to clarify some uh, cases and it's good if the referee is sending us also information for which element, what, what to watch, because it's easier for, for us with the example uh, to make a decision for clarification. Uh, and uh, this for us is very important. Because on base on that, we are making examples for the seminars. And we really read which, uh, what is the reason you are giving us uh, this example to watch. So it's important that the last box here is filled with your reason. Your reason or the judges when during the roundtable discussion, uh, they proposed that this element was discussable and it, it will be good to have this at the seminars, okay? So, the next one is the remarks about initial judges meeting. Fabio went uh, uh, through that, then round table discussion, and you include here comments if there were, uh, if everybody was participating or uh, somebody was silent uh, from the beginning to the end, uh, so we don't know even uh, what, um, what uh, level of English he has. Anyway, at the roundtable discussion and initial judges meeting, you should uh, you should modify the uh, meetings in the way that everybody at least once has to speak. Uh, the next is uh, a referee special remarks, suggestion, and the questions to ISU. This what you collect during uh, the uh, whole event, but particularly roundtable discussion when the judges are coming with some ideas or you have some comments and remarks to improve uh, the system, to improve uh, uh, the evaluation of elements or even the work of the referee. This is a very important box for us to, uh, to read and to make decisions for the following seasons. Or even for, uh, now we are checking this, whether something is uh, important to make a decision for the proposal for Congress. So it's really uh, very valuable for us, your information included here. Uh, the last box, there are special remarks uh, concerning GOE uh, program components and uh, possible violations uh, uh, in possible um, national bias. Uh, this uh, information is very important because on this information, uh, we are checking with the OEC report and your report with this box. Uh, and if you support uh, some marks and OEC says that no, it's bad, then uh, we have two opinions and then it's easier for us to support, let's say, the judges, um, the judges' view and judges' mark, if we have also the comment from uh, from uh, the referee. Uh, so this is uh, you complete this referee's report, and what uh, I would like to say that because we included here that comments on GOEs, uh, the program components, marks, and uh, possible national bias, now we will not have since this season this extra page what we had for international competition because everything is included here and it is nonsense to repeat the same in this additional page okay so this page will be uh, deleted and uh, now this is reminder to you what uh, mm, uh, what uh, documents should be included uh, in the referee's report. Fabio said final result. Final result when you have a short program, rhythm dance, and free program, free dance. This final result. Calculation, setup, verification, confirmation of the organizing committee, and uh, withdrawal notification form. And uh, uh, here is why it is important that, that we have uh, to check the accuracy of calculation software. During the season, uh, the referees, uh, officials, uh, 
somebody else can find a mistake with, uh, with the program. Uh, that some, uh, something is uh, wrong with, I don't know, with the factor or, or some other, so calculation is not correct. During the season, the Swiss timing may correct uh, the problem, may correct the error, and this is very important that you check whether you are using the last version, because if not, this mistake can result the wrong uh, result. If, you, if uh, the organizers are using the, the, wrong, uh, uh, the wrong program, not the updated, okay? So this is what you have to include. Now, uh, the confirmation of organizing committee. Uh, this you feel, what is here? If any problems appears, you have to feel this with the reason. For example, the couple, one of um, the partners in the couple on in purse skating uh, uh, did not bring uh, a clearance certificate at the beginning of the competition. And they say, uh, we have in a hotel, uh, but uh, we will bring later on. You may allow them to skate the first part, but they have to bring it and you must see, or passport, they forgot the passport, so you don't know which country they represent really. And uh, if they will not bring uh, till uh, till the end of uh, the first part or beginning of the second, uh, you may say that if they do not have, they bring, they come to you and say, sorry, but uh, we do not have a certificate. The couple is disqualified. If uh, they say, oh, we forgot again, so we will, we will bring later on. Before the final result is announced, and they did not bring uh, this uh, clearance certificate or the passport, whatever, the couple is disqualified and they are not uh, classified with the final result, okay? If it happens, you have to fill this form and you have to write the reason for disqualification uh, or what happens during the competition, okay? Uh, then this is uh, the withdrawal notification form. Uh, this is received from the medical and uh, you have to attach this because this is an official document why the skater was withdrawn. So you attach this to your report. And uh, this is the last document what I would like to show you. This is a new OSC report where there is a referee's part included. So before the uh, report is coming to the technical committee, the referee must include his comments here. Uh, if there are strict um, differences in marks or if uh, there is something wrong with the mark, the, the referee has to include their comment and to make the decision, is it a mistake or not? And on base of all these comments, so these are OAC comments, these are the referee's comments, then the technical committee is evaluating and making the final decision. Just, uh, just one thing, here is not really the document that you received, you received the document without the OAC comments. So you have to fill your part, the OSC will fill their part because it, the time is the same in which you are preparing the referee report and the OSC. So the technical committee received these two that are combined and after the technical committee is putting the last uh, uh, column. So uh, uh, for you as a referee, you will not have the comments of the OSC. Okay, just... Uh, yes. No, uh, you have to insert your errors which you think is it, uh, is it, it is an error or you think uh, that uh, uh, you support the mark. And how do we do 
You will receive after the competition from the ICU office. Yes. From the ICU office. Only for ICU only for ICU events, when OAC is working on, okay? Not international. Okay, so this concludes our referee seminar. And I hope we clarified uh, some questionable things. We cannot clarify everything. Life is life, and at competition can happen the unpredictable situation. And you will be responsible as a referee to make decision. So I wish you really good luck and uh, see you at competitions as referees. Thank you very much. Thank you.